the two most common mistakes that beginner skate park skaters do. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Okay, so this video is obviously based on my own opinions. I'm no authority when it comes to skating, but I'm gonna give you my opinion as someone who has over 40 years of skate experience. The most common mistake that every single beginner skate park skater do, and even a lot of advanced skaters do, it's these. The overusage of the toe stops. Yes, most quad skates have toe stops. And yes, skate park skaters use them for tricks. But landing a trick like this, this is not landing a trick. In my opinion, of course, I know that for a lot of people out there, they will count it. For me, I will land a trick when my toe stops don't touch. So what can I do to correct this? Or what am I doing wrong? The first thing that you're doing wrong, it's obviously you're opening the stance a lot. And that's not necessarily a wrong thing, but it is wrong if you're doing it and if you're pulling your heels up. So if you're doing this, That's double the mistake because you're touching with both toe stops. At the beginning, this is something that it's common to do in order for you to feel safe and for you not to fall forward. And that's why you do it. But as time goes by, you're gonna need to bring those toes down. So you can start by bringing the front foot heel down. And as time goes by, what you want is to keep both heels down. If you keep both heels down, your skates will be rolling. You can still keep the open stance that will give you a better balance. Let's put it like a triangle. I always give the triangle example. These will give me a better balance than these. It doesn't look as good, but it will give me a better balance. So I can start by doing these. A triangle with a wide base, keeping my heels down. If for some reason I'm about to fall forward, then I bring my heel up. So let's start by keeping the base open. And if something goes wrong, I bring my toe down, my heel up. And this will somehow allow me to not fall forward. Knowing that ideally with time, you will want to avoid touching with toe stops and you're gonna wanna have a base a bit closer. Having a, a base like this will look a lot better. And you can still use the toe stops to stop. Now, yes, toe stops are cool and you can do tricks with those. You can, you can do stalls on the coping. You can do 180 stalls. You can use them to change direction. They are an important part of the quad skate, but they should not be overused. Or when you land a trick, well, I wouldn't count it as a landed trick if the toe stop is down, but that's me. It's up to you to choose if this is a landed trick or not. Now, I'm gonna go up the ramp and I'm gonna use my toe stops to talk about a very, very common mistakes that beginner skaters do, and that is this. Most beginner skaters are scared of putting the wheels on the coping or putting the block on the coping. I do have a grind block and if I didn't have a grinding block, my skate would dig here in the coping, which would make me feel a bit different. But the reason why I believe that it's so dangerous to jump into it is, especially as a beginner, you don't have the same notion about the skates. You don't know exactly where the skates are, your sensitivity is not the same. So it could happen two things, which is one foot is down and the second foot, instead of going straight to the ramp, it goes here. And if that happens as a beginner skater, you're probably gonna do the splits. That's no good. Also, if when you jump, you jump too far, you're gonna land in the ramp in a completely different angle. You should know that when you drop a ramp, you should always be 90 degrees perpendicular to the ramp. So if I'm skating on a, on a flat ground, my head is on top of my feet. If I'm gonna go down a flat bank like this, my body should go perpendicular. Remember the 90 degrees. When I skate on a ramp like this, a quarter pipe or like a curved transition, I need to adjust the angle as I go down. But 
if when I land, I land too low on the transition with my body expecting to low on the highest part, what's going to happen is that I'm gonna go land there with my body leaning too much forward. And that can be extremely dangerous because it gets me stuck too. So most people are usually scared of falling backwards because yes, it's a dangerous fall, but one of the biggest mistakes most of the times happens because they get with one foot stuck or because they land too low. So what you want to avoid is to landing either low or to get one of your feet stuck. I've made videos on this channel before on how to drop a ramp, but I'm gonna quickly tell you what you should be doing as a beginner. So you should be able to make a T, okay? You should point the toe stop into the transition and you should bring this T as close as you can to the coping, the metal bar on top. Now, you want to put the front wheels down on the ramp and stay either on the block or in between the front and the back truck. That space created and you're gonna bring your second foot as close as you can to it. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna put all the weight on the foot that stays on top, okay? For me to be able to take this foot away from here, I'm gonna need to put weight on the heels of the foot that is already half inside the ramp. So I'm gonna put a lot of weight on my heels here in order to be able to change the other one. And I can do it slowly. I can come here and try to fill it. And once both my feet are in the same position, I have all the weight on my heels. I'm gonna put my hands on my knees and slowly I'm gonna lean forward. And as my front wheels touch, I'm going to bring more weight into those front wheels. I do not want to keep the weight on the back wheels because that could get me stuck. So I'm gonna bring more weight into the front wheels and here we go. And that's how you should be dropping your first ramps as a beginner skater. Please, as scared as you are of that coping, of your feet sliding down, it's way less dangerous to drop down like these than to jump forward. Just think about it. If you fall back while doing this, this is what's going to happen to you. You fall back and this can happen. If you fall forward, you'll not fall here. You go from here all the way there. Most of your time's on your chest, your face can even hit it, even if you use a helmet. So, yeah, now you know. Don't jump into the ramp. And if you're gonna go backwards, don't use the toe stop. And that's it. I hope you learned something today. And now let's see if I can teach it to my daughter Jalen, which is a beginner quad skater. Let's see if she can do it, go up and down the ramp without using the toe stops and going down the ramp without jumping. Stay there and let me know what you think. And that's it. I hope you learned something today. If you learned something, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you didn't learn something or if you didn't like this video, well, give me a thumbs down, but let me know in the comments what you like about this video. If you like it, you can also give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. And if you really like it, you can also become a patron. It's a way for you to support what I do here on this channel with these videos. And let me just finish this video as I finish every other video. And that is by reminding you why we all started skating and that that is because it's fun now cheers and see you soon yeah.